Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> What's going on? It's Nickelodeon, and I'm coming back at you with another video. This video is going to be a cooking video, and I'm cooking one of my famous dishes that my family likes. And it's not really all that famous. It's just fried rice, but it's my fried rice, you know what I mean? And my family loves it. So I'm going to show you some little secrets to how I make my special dish. Now, I have my assistant with me in the kitchen, little Nelia. We call her Lily. And she is. Shut up. My bad. So I'm just flash across my screen. All right, I'm gonna hit you back in a minute, homie. Okay. So my daughter is helping me in the kitchen. She's sitting on the counter. I know it's not safe. The stove is there, you know. But I'm right here with her and watching her and making sure that you know nothing, no grease pops out or nothing like that. Because then I have to pick her up and and and, and get her out the way. So I'm making sure everything's safe. So right now, what I'm gonna do is help her mix this stuff because it looks like it's browning. So right now, I'm gonna turn the camera to the. Right now, I got a, a cast iron skillet. Now, I know that's old school. I'm not sure if y'all still use that. But I use it just because my stepfather used it. And he taught me really a lot about cooking. And I love the way the skillet gets hot. And I love the way it evenly cooks things. So, I use a cast iron skillet. Go ahead, Lily. You can finish mixing that okay so I'm using regular white rice okay you guys that are trying to be um, nutritious you know you can use the brown rice or the whole grain rice or whatever you know I do however I do like those the brown rice and the whole grain rice but my family hmm, especially my children <laughs> They, they're not so used to the whole grain and, and the brown rice. I'm, I'm slowly introducing them to it. So right now, we're just doing the white rice. So first thing you want to do is you want to get your skillet. You want to put about, hmm, I want to say, I'm not good at measurements. Oh, I'm going to say like four tablespoons of vegetable oil on the bottom of the skillet you want to evenly get that vegetable oil on the bottom of the skillet then you want to pour your white rice okay so now i'm gonna ask Nalia to step down because this part is not for kids step down all right she's gonna get it because i don't want her to get popped so um I'm just gonna grab a cup out of my cabinet. I'm gonna get in some cold water. And this part you gotta do fast, you know, because once that rice starts browning, is you wanna get that okay, and you're gonna put about a cup and a half of water right onto the rice. Okay, and you're gonna get, you're gonna hear that, you're gonna hear that sizzle thing, that sizzle. And that sizzle don't scare me, that sizzle lets me know that things is getting popping, getting dropped. <laughs> Lily, hold on, you gotta see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lily already knows I'm crazy. And y'all will too. Okay, open one of these. Give me the pack out of there. So what I'm using is our a lovely cuisine dinner top llama noodle. Now you can get this only the fanciest of the fanciest, but no, I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm, we're not doing the top ramen. We're just gonna use a little bit of the seasoning from the top ramen. Just give me the seasoning pack, baby. Okay. Open that. It's hard. It's hard to do things with. All right, now she got lost in the noodles. All right, now on. Now she got lost in the actual top ramen. So we're just gonna do half a packet of the top ramen 
seasoning that it does. Let me show you what we got going on. So I poured the water, the half, the cup and a half of water onto the browned rice. And I did a half a pack of the top ramen seasoning. So I'm going to spice it up. And I'm going to spice it up. And we're going to drop We're going to make it. We're going to drop it and make it hot. It's like, nah. All right, wait a minute. Just wait a darn minute now. Just a darn minute. Really? What kind of assistant? Now she's eating. Okay. So. I have a can of mixed vegetables. Now, you don't have to use can. You can use fresh. But I'm using can. It's all good. You know, my favorite, my favorite fresh uh, vegetables, broccoli. So, usually when I make um, my, my mixed dishes like this, I like to use broccoli. But today we're using um, can. Next ingredient Mommy, is this. Please, please, please. I don't like that. See, that's why I don't have her in the kitchen. Because, you know, she don't know what she eating. And then when she see me making it, then she going to say, oh, I don't like it. Trust me, you like it. You've ate it before. So I'm using seasoned salt. And I'm only putting about maybe like three tablespoons of, of the suey sauce. Okay. And my water is disappearing. And that's what happens if you take too long. Your water's going to disappear. Don't put too much. If it starts to disappear, just do like a little um, third, one third of a cup back in there. And then you want to turn your flame on low. Okay, so that's what we got going on. We got the suey sauce. I'll put some more water back in there because the water looked like it was, um, the water looked like it was coming out. And then we're going to turn our flame on the lowest of low. That's, that's as low as it goes. And then we want to cover. I'm on it, my dishwasher. Okay. And I got a cover. So I'm just going to cover. Okay. And that has to cook for about hmm I want to say about five or six minutes and the best way to know when it's done is just take a little fork full and taste your rice if the crunch is gone it's done it's good um and I'll get back to you with the final the final dish